Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun and Rising and Venus. Please keep in mind energy can go vice versa and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. We have the honoring path, intentions with a consciousness of lack. So someone's really upset that they've lost here, uh, lost something truly special. Uh, they're also uh, feeling like they're seeing something that is making them very unhappy. I do uh, pick up a sense of envy or uh, jealousy here. I regret lying to you. I feel you leaving me behind. Yeah, somebody's very upset that they uh, lost out here. Overall energy, two of wands. This is about being at a crossroads, needing to make a decision. Okay, so let's see what's going on in your energy this week. We have Eight of Swords, Five of Swords, Four of Wands. So you've been through a very difficult situation here. You almost feel like your hands are tied when it comes to a certain someone and feeling like you're trying to get your grippings back, finally trying to let go and release things, come to a more peaceful place. And I see that uh, there are some people that don't have the best intentions when it comes to you, but you're seeing things very clearly this week um, and being able to uh, do what you need to do to create more peace and stability. So letting go of people that uh, no longer serve your life as well as um, really acknowledging the people that do. Seven of Swords, Six of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. I see in their energy, they are definitely keeping a close eye on you. And it's because they cannot stop thinking about you. They're constantly fantasizing about the love uh, they once had here and the emotions that they feel. I'm seeing that once you've detached here or released your energy from this connection, they're definitely feeling it so much uh, that they're wanting to chase after you. They feel like they've lost uh, the best thing in their life here, something uh, that they can't ever replace. I'm also seeing that their happy place uh, is gone. Uh, tell the Seven of Swords. Nine of Pentacles, a lot of them are seeing you in the spotlight here. For some of you, uh, can be online or social media. They're seeing yourself uh, be happy. Other people are giving you a lot of attention. Uh, this is something that is devastating them. They're getting a little bit envious here or um, jealousy is coming up. Tell me the Knight of, Knight of Cups. King of Pentacles. Yeah, they feel like, you know, they really would go back and change the past, but they feel like they know that they did wrong and that they don't look good in your eyes at this moment. And uh, it would take a lot to be able to turn this around. I see the pressure is building up emotionally within them though. Uh, Eight of Pentacles, Chariot, Ten of Cups, and the Strength card for the past. So it took a lot of work to even get this person to take their wall down. It felt like, you know, they were really holding back or detaching so much. Uh, you did really get them to understand that you were loyal and that you were doing everything possible, that you were offering them everything on a silver platter here. A very spontaneous type of energy for this connection as well. But it shows me that they know you are the one immediately uh it's almost like they were awestruck by you the fact that uh, you checked off every box that they had when it comes to uh, a committed relationship but i see that they feel like there's so much work and so much to do in order to make things work and get to know someone else just in general it's something that they always steer away from some of them can run away from commitment or responsibility as well uh, tell them to Eight of Pentacles. I see them fighting their feelings a lot as this connection progressed. Four of Cups star. Yeah, they ended up disappointing you a lot. You felt like this was a deep connection and that uh, this person would eventually come around, that uh, they're just hesitant. I also see some of them are definitely a recluse or they don't like to really open up at all. They have a lot of anxiety when this happens or releasing emotions. Uh, they feel it's very difficult for them to be vulnerable. Uh, tell me this chariot. 
two of pentacles you made them want to change their lifestyle so this person definitely likes to uh you know do whatever they please at any moment so they're very spontaneous or they like to uh, be free of responsibility here and you made them start to think about uh settling down and wanting to commit and it's something that spooked them they feel like they got really scared because they weren't willing to open up, but also afraid of not being successful uh, in the future, being able to maintain a committed relationship in a way where they could sustain your happiness or make you happy with them. World Ten of Wands, there was a big barrier here. They had a lot on their plates or they focus on finances or work versus love. Uh, and wanting to build a lifestyle where they can be free to go do what they desire to do. And King of Cups, uh, they feel like there's no point in really uh, expressing themselves. That you should just know that they care about you. They don't have to affirm that with you or um, really speak about it. Okay, so let's see the challenge. Let's get some more details. Hermit, Sun, Temperance, and the Six of Wands. Everything was kept in the dark. You weren't really certain their true intentions or their feelings. It seemed like they suddenly changed or shifted into this uh, more of a negative energy and always retracting their energy from you that you felt like they weren't really into this connection anymore or they weren't interested in you as a person. And it made you feel like you were stuck in this, always trying to do everything possible for them to make them happy to get them interested in this connection again and nothing seemed to work uh, with the tempered six of wands their ego was at play uh, it made it very difficult because they were giving in to those fears those doubts and wanting themselves to be looked at by you as somebody superior and not to be looked down upon and they had this uh, issue with self-worth always feeling as if uh, they couldn't get ahead of the game because even if they did it wouldn't be looked at uh, as something that was their success okay so I am kind of seeing um, I think they call, yeah the imposter syndrome here uh, it's always made them feel in their life that they're living their life on the outside, uh, especially with the Nine of Swords, uh, Six of Wands, always fearing success and uh, being able to achieve it or maintain it and feeling like they don't deserve that in a sense, that everyone else, they're just looking at uh, on the outside, looking in, that they're getting everything that they desire, but they don't deserve that. They're never going to achieve that. I mean, it's just a mindset that they have and it stopped them when it comes to matters of the heart or relationships they tend to detach and run i also see uh when they would come around um they can be very quiet or some of them uh, it seems like they're not paying attention or just they're not present uh, in the conversations. It almost feels like at times they appease you a little bit to keep you in this connection. Uh, we have Five of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and the King of Wands. So they're about to do something that is going to make you extremely happy. And it's finally going to bring some insight into what has happened here. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, though, I love you guys so much. Thank you for your support and all your love. I deeply appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.